Hey guys, Chris here and welcome back to the Amazon Vlogs. Today I'm going to give you a POV look of what your first day of Amazon might look like or your first couple of days of what Amazon looks like. So most likely the first day you're going to probably go out with your manager or the owner of your DSP so he can train you if you have any questions you want to ask. Just making sure that you know how to deliver. And pretty much on your second or third day you're probably going to be out by yourself which is what I'm going to show you and demonstrate here in this video. When you go out on your own for the first time, you're probably going to do something called like a nursery route. And what that is, it's kind of like a baby route. You don't have like a full route, but you'll get like maybe three or four bags as you can see here and a couple overflow. In this case, I only have one. <laughs> for me, it's the end of the day, but for you, this is what a nursery route looks like. Actually, I do have some footage of what a nursery route looks like. So here's a clip on my second day. So this is what my second day of working here looks like. Like I said, they gradually give you more and more stops. And right now I had, um, I think I had nine bags. As you can see, I already started. The ones I finished, I put right here. And I'm currently working on this one. So everything from this bag, I put it on the shelf. So it's easier for me to work with. So I'm still trying to figure out the scanner. See, I did 24 right now. And I still got 114 packages to deliver. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. I probably finished in like, what was it, 12 o'clock? I started around 11. Uh, probably finished around three or four if I was really fast. But I think I'm just gonna take it easy. So basically you're gonna follow the GPS. GPS is pretty simple. Um, it's very intuitive and very noob friendly. We're here at our first stop right now. And you can see on the scanner, it says blue bag. So the packages are in this bag right here. And you can see medium box and envelope. So that's what we're gonna look for. Also note, since we're already here, you could just press I parked. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna scan the package and you're just gonna say yes. And then the scanning page will open. So the way I like to sort my packages is I sort them from boxes to bags slash envelopes. So let's take out all the boxes first. And here we have boxes and then we have envelopes. I can sort them again by streets. So the street I'm on right now starts with an S. So any packages that, like this one right here, I know it's gonna be next, but it's not this one. Okay, this package goes here. It was kind of cut off, I couldn't tell. I got that. And then we're gonna look for the envelope. Envelope's right here. And the GPS says it's right here. 32. 32 is that house right there, the back house. So we scanned the packages. So we're gonna play continue with two of the two packages. Another safe location. Uh, sometimes front door. And it's gonna ask you to take a picture of the packages. So that's what we're gonna do. Just like that. And there's like a little white box I discovered today. And there you go, pretty done. Amazon also rates you on your um, photo taking abilities. If you have a bad photo, if you have a blurry photo, the box not in the picture, it's gonna it's gonna dock you on your report card, which is really dumb, but it is what it is. The GPS will now take you automatically to the next place. All you gotta do is press start travel. Okay, you can see it's in front of us. Okay, start the car and let's go. Stop is in there, so. We can go in there. Yeah, let's just go in here real quick. And our stop is right here. So we're just gonna park right here. And we're gonna press I parked since we parked. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. So scan packages and look for packages. This is one of them because I brought it up because it was on the same street. Okay. That's the best way I found doing it is sorting it by the streets because if you're gonna do start one street you're probably gonna finish doing it and then there's another way to do it too to sort your packages you can look at your driver aid number so you can see right here 7544 is the first package and the next package is gonna be 7545 and then the next package is gonna be 7546 i find that method way too hard so i just i just do it my way by the streets I guess that's like how FedEx does it. So I'm just used to that way of doing it. Okay. 
at the gate. I'll just leave it right here. And boom, just like that. Done. Then you're gonna do the same thing. Go to your next stop and do all over again. Now the time you start when you pick up your packages and leave the station is gonna vary due to the fact that Amazon likes to do things a little different than normal logistics companies. You know, the hardest part about Amazon, I think is knowing where to deliver. House is pretty simple, but commercial buildings is a little more tricky. When you first start off, you're probably not gonna get like a regular van. Obviously you can see this is an unbranded. So 152 can go right here, Put it right there. To see that it's an overflow package, what that means is like oversized package that belongs in the back. You'll know if it's overflow when it says it's not in a bag right here. So we need this one. And then we need the, that one package we have in the back. SpongeBob. All right, and there, complete a stop. One thing they teach you in training is that you should scan when you're at the front door. But honestly, I think most drivers just scan it in the trunk because it's more convenient. See, I didn't really need GPS for this one because it's on the same street just a higher number so I just know it's up the block but with Amazon they want you to um, use the GPS for pretty much everything <laughs> since there's no shelves I've been kind of breaking my back just a little you know if this was FedEx or UPS and you drove a truck without no shelves you're probably gonna hate yourself at the end of the day but Amazon it's kind of manageable because the packages are just so small and they just go in the totes also, a lot of drivers like to keep the packages on the dashboard. Basically, they keep maybe um, the envelopes on top of the dashboard and maybe the boxes on the passenger seat. Nice, and we're done with this tote. So what we can do, or what a lot of drivers like to do to keep their truck organized is close it. So just pull this up, hold it, and put it with the rest of the totes. I'm gonna show you what the fastest drivers do. So, and how they do it so fast. It's because they just do it like that. Stack everything like this, all the packages. Okay, so I set up the packages and what I think is the most optimal way. Why is it optimal, you ask? Because you don't have to go to the back. Because all your packages are right here and all the envelopes are up there. Yeah, so with this technique, the only time you would have to go to the back is for an overflow package. So this uh, next stop might be my last stop. I'm saying that because it's telling me that there's five packages that go here and I have only about five left just like that bada bing bada boom <clears throat> then it gives me directions to return to station I turn this on kind of cold and what we pretty much do at return to station is just return to totes and any packages that you have left Maybe, maybe the business was closed. Maybe the address was wrong. You just bring it back to the station. But today we have no packages left and we're just gonna return the totes and park in our parking lot. It's not too hard. It's, it's, they're really easy on you. Unless they need people, then they're gonna, they're gonna give, they're gonna put you to work. But if your DSP is just getting ready for the peak season, you might just be an extra person, might be backup. No, just, just in case something happens, we have you. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you guys next one. Peace out.